Hey guys, so we have some interesting news involving Reddit and Alpha Investments, Rudy. It is not surprising that Rudy is not a, he's not beloved like some other YouTubers on Reddit. They don't like his policy of buying reserve list cards, which should be everyone's policy really. And they are saying that Rudy is repeatedly attempting to sell a Lotus not signed by Chris Russ. So Chris Russ is the artist and he drew the Black Lotus. His signature adds some value, especially since he's passed away. Now, if it is a fake signature, then the card is going to be considered damaged because why would you want a random signature on your beta lotus? The price difference between it being a real signature and it being a fake signature is immense. Incredibly immense. So if it's a real signature here, you can get a little bit more money than the actual card is worth because of whose signature it is, and especially because RIP, he's no longer with us. So there's no longer any chance of getting a Black Lotus signed by him. There will be no more. So the debate, if you will, comes down to, is this a legit signature? Now Reddit is saying that he, Rudy has been confronted multiple times uh, by Christopher Rush's agent as well as his friends that this is not a legitimate signature. I don't know. I'm not a signature expert and I'm almost certain that no one on Reddit posting right now is a signature expert. So it is very strange that they are coming after him. Right, this is the same group of people that if Tolarian Community College posted a video about Ultra Pro sleeves, it would be number one on Reddit. If Mero posted an article on diversity, it would be number one on Reddit. And they are not going to look deeper, you know, oh great, Magic the Gathering, Wizard of the Coast, such a diverse place. They must employ plenty of females. Have you gone to the Wizard of the Coast employee page? It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to actually do it, right? And I think that is mm, irony at its best. So here we have a lot of people challenging whether or not this autograph is real with no knowledge of autographs. Here, here's the autograph in question. They are criticizing the C. It could be that this was signed very early on. It does look different from the other autographs I have compared it to. But why would anyone fake an autograph? Like the card will be worth way more without the autograph. The only scenario I can see someone faking an autograph is when magic cards were not worth money at the time. So we have a, and here's the beauty of this. Either it's a fake autograph and Rudy's selling a fake autograph or it's a real autograph. And this just shows how ridiculous Reddit is and how Reddit is actually after him. Not fake, fake after him, real, real after him. And they're making up uh, random stories. And I'm not an autograph expert I, if I had to pick, I would think that maybe his autograph changed in time or he signed this very early on. It's possible. I'm sure in the early days of magic, he wasn't, uh, not many people asked for this autograph or even knew. Magic is a game with a very strange history. I would love to get someone who's an expert in autographs to either confirm or deny it. Either way, it makes a very compelling story. The story is Reddit is gunning for Rudy because they disagree with his buyout policies or his videos, or Rudy's actually selling a fake. And 
if it is fake, there's probably a 0% chance Rudy does not know it's fake. Um, given supposedly what Reddit is saying about the relistings and so on. But if it's real, then you're looking at a lot of people attacking a real autograph, a real card, just because they don't like the person and affecting the business on a $11,000 buy. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.